so you've interacted with a lot of people on the other side. Um, yeah. Multiple capacities on stream, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. What was, what was this like? Obviously you had, you had the people who were denying your reel. You had helicopter guy making his arguments. You had other people making arguments. <laughs> what was, yeah. if you could get a feel for what anti GG was as a community, if there was a community even, what would it be? Oh, there was. Uh, I did find a few who actually, there was the, the guy that, uh, I think he was the guy that Nurgle went after. I actually wound up apologizing to me. Uh, but. Uh, I noticed that a lot of the guys on that side, it felt more performative. Like, and uh, let's not even get into the list of anti-GG people in the right. industry that turned out. To be, yeah. Yeah. You know, and some of it is, some of this is not alleged. Some of them were convicted. So, you know, let's not even get into that because that's a whole nother can of worms. But um, I think a lot of them were just so stubborn and, and I hate this phrase, but set in their ways that they didn't want to stop and consider, hey, maybe I could be wrong about this. Um. The ones that weren't willing to talk kind of dug their heels in. I found myself getting blocked by quite a few people that I've never interacted with. There have been a few times where I'll read a gaming article and I'm curious about the person who wrote it. So I go to their Twitter. Oh, hey, I'm blocked. <laughs> Even though I've never heard of this person until today. Oh, they're blocked. Oh, I'm blocked. Okay. And it, it was irritating at first. I just found it, started finding it funny after a while. Did you ever change anyone's mind on this? Not to my knowledge. I don't. I mean, I could have. It's possible. Because I don't. I can't even tell you how many people I interacted with during the Gamergate days. Probably hundreds. Do you have any anti-Gamergate? Over the span of two years. Oh, good. I know. Just saying. Over the span of two years, you know. I talked to probably hundreds of people. So... It's possible I did. It's possible I didn't. I don't know. Did you make any friends from the other side? Mm, I wouldn't say friends. Um, there are a few people that I'd be like, okay, you know what? We can agree to disagree. You know, you're respectful to me. I can be respectful to you. You know, in a few cases, it's like, oh, hey, you know, you mentioned you like this game. I like this game, too. Like someone, uh, one person mentioned Alice Madness Returns. I'm like, hey, that's my favorite game. Go. Like, oh. Huh. Okay. It's kind of cool. What's your favorite part? And, you know, got into a discussion about Alice Madness Returns. You know, I've actually so never played that. Friends. Oh, you, dude, it's on Xbox Game Pass. I have the Game it's Pass, amazing. too. <laughs> it's, you gotta download the shitty EA thing. Don't get me started on EA. I'm still pissed that they canceled the third Alice game. But, you know, it's there. I need to replay it. For like the eighth time. So, Ninth. Ninth. What's so great about it? Just, you know, coming from someone who has dealt with a lot of trauma in her past. Uh, I, I could really relate to her. I won't spoil it. There is... Um, it deals with some very heavy themes later on that I also dealt with. Um, but it was done in a way that I felt was respectful. But at the same time, there's just one world that I try to speed run simply because of how uncomfortable it makes me. Which, it's a horror game. It's supposed to. But I don't think he intended this amount of, this type of discomfort. Um, I'll just say it involves child abuse, and I'll leave it at that. Gotcha. Um, but I, I also initially I was just like, I really like how they made the Cheshire Cat look because it's you see all these different representations, and he's big and fluffy, and just 
you know, zany. And then you see American McGee's version of Cheshire. And he's skeletal. He's got all these tattoos on him. He's got the ear piercing. And he's voiced by the same guy who voices Ghostface in the Scream movies. But with a British, but it gives him a British accent. And I just, I, I thought the character was cool. So I'm like, I'm going to check out this game. And it had kind of a more goth aesthetic, which I personally like, if you didn't see me earlier in the stream. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 that definitely drew me to it. But the more I played it, the story and just being able to relate to a girl who is dealing with a lot of trauma, a lot of repressed memories. And just trying to deal with it the best you can. Yeah, I've always wanted to play the games. They look really cool. It It's great. How is the first one? I, the first one's pretty good. Um, I prefer the second one, personally. But the first one's good. There are a few parts that felt a bit rushed to me. But... Demon Alice's look is really fr- is really freaking sweet. That's why I it, I, it, I am still EA. I'm never going to forgive you for this for canceling the third game. I've been waiting for years for that bitch, and you canceled it at the last minute. I remember as a kid, I was like super excited for Starcraft Ghost when mm. this was announced, and then like obviously the game never came out. So it was in like development hell for like multiple years. They never officially canceled it or anything. It just like just disappeared. And they even like a demo of it that they played at BlizzCon. But I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play this. And then just nothing. Years, year after year, it was like <laughs> the number one thing I wanted. The number one game I wanted more than anything else was StarCraft Ghost. And it never, never happened. You know what? I got to give credit to American McGee here because when it came to Alice Asylum... Yeah, he kept us updated every step of the way. He even released a full uh, game Bible that had the storyline and so much awesome art. You can still get it for free on his Patreon. Uh, just I, I just remember when that first came out. I think it was last year, maybe the year before last. I mean, no, it was sometime last year. And I just remember hearing about it and downloading it, and I spit like the next in the next few hours just going through it, going, "Oh, this is so cool." And then when he posted the he, when he posted on Instagram that EA wasn't going to release it, oh man, I hadn't been I hadn't felt that disappointed in a while. 